All right, you guys. What is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're looking at college football. I've done three, well, I've done two games. I've done the 2005 uh, game of the century. I've done the 2006 Ohio State team who bet Michigan State in the final. And what am I going to do now? I don't know. Let's look. I'm going to look at the third game. The third game of the 20th century. Or so I'm told. Okay. Which was LSU versus Alabama. Louisiana State versus Alabama. Let's click on that. On November... See, I don't want to see the results, but... On November 5th, 2011, number one ranked LSU traveled to Tuscaloosa to take on number two Alabama. Ah, shit! Ah, I don't want to read it. 2011 LSU versus Alabama. Alabama? Uh, okay, here we go. Full highlights, full highlights, LSU versus Alabama. Let's go. The first run of the game, you would be on top of the world. At quarterback, that's Chris Underwood, is back up tight end. Richardson going left. Gets around the corner. First two plays of the game. 18 yard game to Richardson on the opening carry. Out of the shotgun. Big hit left side, wide open. It's Richardson. Ooh, big hit. Remember the last two years, total points in the first quarter, three points by LSU last year. Foster. Matt. Still stands. Wide right. Randall sets up tight right. Flip left side, man is wide open. That's Odell Beckham, number 33, the true freshman. Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham, really? <laughs> Lee, Randall, at the 50 yard line. And Daquan Menzi, number 24. Alabama has lost Jesse Williams, their big. Thank God I forgot who won. I know the score is 9 6. I just read it before, unfortunately, but I don't know who won. Sweet. Run nose tackle in this football game. They're down one big guy. Left guard, Jefferson. They try to pull the ball out. Hightower probably off his best uh, effort the last game against Tennessee. He was all over the place. Whoa, Grant what a pass. What if, that, a, what if that pass didn't go straight? Effort the last game against Tennessee. He was all... Whoa! That's like a 15-yard pass between your legs. Over the place. Here's Brad Wing. The Australian punter who has had a great season with efforts like... Brad Wing. If I hear an Australian punter, I've got to look him up. Where'd you go, bro? Where did you go? An Australian-American football punter who is currently a free agent. He was signed by the Eagles as an undrafted free agent in 2013. Wing achieved fame during several nationally televised games for his accuracy and leg strength. He was also the first college football player to be penalised under a new rule regarding on-field taunting versus scoring plays. He's 27, my age, from Melbourne, Victoria. 93 kilos, 6 foot 3. And he played for the Eagles, the Steelers, the Giants. Where are you at now, bro? Where are you at now? 2016 signed a three-year contract extension with the Giants. Extension was reportedly worth three years, 6.45 million. And on March 10th, 2018, Wing was released by the Giants. It's not all over, bruh. It's not all over. Aussie makes NFL history, 2014. This is a news story from Triple M, which is a radio station. Let me read this. No. 
Ah, uh, it's not there anymore. All right. Anyways, guys. Both teams make a third down conversion one third of the time. From the end zone, wide open is Mays. One on one, out to the 25. I don't know what was going on. Woo! There. I think Harold hey, Simon busted the assignment that time because half the team was playing man to man. And thank you, Tim. It's uh, second down here. A little new wrinkle right there for Alabama. Quick screen off of a pivot. We were told during that uh, highlight from Brando Vern. Darts to the outside. Brought down to the first down at the 48. Here's Barrett Jones. Shifted over, yep, over to the right. Burn. And they'll bring Lacey, Lacey to the right side. Straight through. Lacey. Oh, Lacey is going to be a substitution foul uh, on Alabama. Lacey, that turf toe suffered against Arkansas. Marquise Mays is the uh, white man. Here's Lacey. Oh, boy. Not fast enough for us. We talk about Mark Barron a lot. Lacey. He's one for four this year with two misses from 53. Wide right, right. I don't think that was deep enough either, was it? No. Nope. I don't think that would have made it if it was straight down the alley. Straight down the alley. Straight down the alley. Straight through the uprights is what we'd say. Straight down the middle, right across the dot. There's all sorts of stuff, isn't there, for kicking a goal. Low snap, Lee picks it up, throws it, intercepted. That's his first interception since Mississippi State. Robert Luster got it. And the first turnover in five games for LSU. McCarran back, deep. Left side, driving. Nice right. catch. Darius Hanks, number 15. Hanks. Inside the 35. Oh. Alabama Crimson Tide with A.J. McCarron, quarterback, to try to take advantage of the interception. And here is Trent Richardson rumbling. And that would be where you find Warman. Rumbling up the field. Uh, Who's got it? <laughs> well, we know already in the first quarter about the field goal problems for Alabama, and I wonder how this oh, no. is what they call, should they not be successful on third down? Oh, Tyrone Matthew. 49. Let's still got to look at him. Yes! Picked up in the air. And LSU's Eric Reed hurdles a man. Special teams. Kenny Hilliard is also in as a fullback. We saw him at tailback two weeks ago. D'Angelo Peterson tight right there. The lateral. The Michael Ford. And Jordan Jefferson. Where yeah, got the first down, it would appear. Yes, they're going to give him a favorable spot that he earned. Brad Wang in his first year. So it doesn't matter where you actually end up, you might get pushed back. But if that ball travels, like, it's, is, is it as far down the field as that ball can travel? Is that where the down is? I thought it was where you actually got tackled. Maybe not. Starting putter, the young man from Melbourne. The young man from Melbourne! Earlier this year, and here he is inside the five for the second time. Second and seven. Richardson. That's a first down. Hatcher had no chance of stopping Trent Richardson on that play. On first down. Make the reverse and give it up to the middle. Yeah, we're going to get a holding here, it looks like. Holding flag. 15 yards. Face pass. Case Keenum in Houston, huh? Yeah, that's a good one, too. McCarran, he's got Richardson wide open. 
Thanks, dude. Go on, go to me. Shelly from 34 yards out for the season. Let's go, Jizza. He's now 11 of 14. McCarron holds it. Alabama is first on the scoreboard. Option. Jefferson pitch. Michael Ford slips a tackle. I love that play, man. I love it. Side, he's got a first down 10 LSU. Option. Music. Give it. There's the pitch. I love that. Yeah. It's so good because does like obviously you can do a dummy pass. That's like a game of rugby. You're running around, drawing the pass, or drawing the defender and passing the ball. But I'm sure if you went like that, if that defender wasn't going to commit to you and started going out and you went like that, you could do a dummy pass and continue to run. Like that is, that's, that's rugby. That is rugby attack and play, man. It's the draw and pass. You've got six guys on attack versus five guys on defense. If you just draw and pass, draw and pass, draw and pass, eventually that one guy is gonna be open. So you could effectively have five guys lining up against five defenders and just draw and pass lateral, draw and pass lateral, draw and pass lateral. Obviously that's not gonna happen, but Effectively, it could, but I really like this play where the the quarterback or the running back runs alongside runs around the outside and Has the power of keeping the ball or having his man running up Behind him so he can receive the lateral. I really like that. I like that setup What would be even better is that guy running with the ball having a guy on either side of him So he could either lateral on the outside or on the inside that would be cool Correct choice here. Whoops. Too soon, buddy. Andre Billingsley, number 86. Defense, number 86. Five yard penalty. Shoulders result in a first down. Jefferson. Comes right, pumps once, twice. Oh, what a pop he took. Trey Kirkpatrick. Keep it on the ground. Oh, big hit. Hard hit on Michael Ford, number 42. To Mark Barron, number four. Alabama brings only three. Go deep. Intercepted. No. Oh, it's oh, caught on the board. It's Shepard who got it. Jefferson drills it. Flag is down. It might be on Ruben Randall on this one. Holding number 21 defense. Has to miss the two goals. Automatic first down. Les is down inside the five yard line. Talking to the official. Toss. Where? Cut short. Bucky needed that 72 behind him. Pick him up and drive him over. Ah, oh, look at the crowd! It's fucking completely silent! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Look at them, they go completely silent when it goes over. Seven for the three. Three all. Half time. And take it all into the uh, halftime locker room. Uh, uh, these are two good defensive teams. Let's say that, okay? Three yeah. three. <laughs> Just about what we thought. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, oh boy. Now, they play combo all the time, does Alabama. They just reduce poorly on that one. Here's Jefferson, who is at quarterback to open the third quarter, and he throws it complete to Chase Clement. Shepard in motion. Jefferson. Run. Puts it down. He'll run it. Nice little 
Nice work. Face it maneuver, and he's got a first down. From off, sets up tight right. Shepard up on the line to the right side in the slot. Wetz. Jefferson picking down this time. Fourth down. That brings on Brad Wing, Marquise Mays, who has an 83-yard punt return for a touchdown. Let's go, Wing. Back. Put the some wings on it. Return. Oh, short punt. Really short punt. Tom Ritter says right there. What happened? And instead, he was offered by uh, Division I schools of lesser renown. Let's put it that way. Until... LSU was convinced to give him a scholarship. What dividends has that paid? His last pass was intercepted. Backs in the eye. Play action. He goes deep. The second pass is intercepted. Mark Barron flies down the sideline. Ooh, keep going. And it's oh. taken down at the three. And you see Mark Barron knew he had help. He just That's sat on that happened. route. An illegal block in the back, number 99 of the return team. See, up until recently, when someone got the ball or an intercept like that, I wasn't looking at anything else except for the ball carrier. I was seeing, you know, defenders coming at him. I was seeing what he does against the defenders. But as soon as that guy got the ball, or as soon as like a defender gets the ball, is on, is on a run, I'm looking at the blockers now. I'm looking who's in front of him. I'm looking where is he going to run to try and make make sure that he can use those blockers to the best of his ability. And that's something I wasn't thinking before. And I'm happy about it. Yard penalty. Alabama will keep the ball first down. Put them all the way back at the 35 yard line. McCarran, he's got Marquise Mays over here, finds him. And Mays is going to be short. Well, here we go again. Yep. This one's got the distance. And it's got the accuracy. You bet. Jefferson is the call at quarterback on first down. Yeah, Jefferson. And, uh, Michael Ford carries it. Solid. And he might have, he will have enough for the first down and 10. Runs into Dante Hightower, number 30. 1.7. Here's Jefferson. Randall. <laughs> That's so dangerous, man. Turning like that with, with you know, turning around. Ford. Two blockers out there to help get him around the corner. And he is knocked down as he nears the sideline inside the 40. Randall and Beckham split to the left. Ford bounces inside the 35. Beckham Jr., there he is. Oh, Alabama is misaligned. See if they get it straight. They're not right. They... Flight down. Prior to the snap, ball start, 60. Offense, five-yard penalty, first down. This guy's <laughs> funny. <laughs> He's funny. Here's Wayne. This guy put some wings on it, boy. End over end. Fair catch. Ball four and taken at the 10. Well, Alabama has started drives, among other drives tonight, at the four, the five, and now the 10. Play action, the carry. Left side. Oh, he's got hands over. He did. Good stuff. Defensive line. Swing pass out of the backfield. Good and stuff. That's going to be close. I think he got it. I think so too. I reckon. I reckon every receiver, every every wide receiver, every slot receiver should be able to grab that ball come up against one-on-one -on -one with that defender and beat him, just like that guy did. Fast feet, whether it's a spin, a juke, a fast foot, a, a hurdle, a truck, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, as a solid quality attacker, you should be able to beat your defender one-on-one, -on -one, somehow. And so that is why I like the idea of becoming a slot receiver, getting those short passes, being able to turn around, 
see my defender coming and do something with it. Beat him, see another defender coming, beat him, hopefully have some blockers in front of me. Use them. Rather than running all the way down the field as a, as a true wide receiver, I think I'd be better used within 20 yards of the scrimmage, getting a pass within 20 yards, you know what I mean? I don't know. Carries 56 yards in all play action for Kara. Yeah, a rush. Behind him, intercepted. Victor Give the lateral. Claymore to the 20. Down to the 15. First Alabama turnover tonight. That brings on number 30 for a 30-yard effort. To tie it up, Brad Wing will hold. Joey Crapel is the snapper. And, you can <laughs> and the crowd the goes silent. Of the Alabama student section that that one was true. McCarran. Marquise Mays back in the game with a huge catch. 114 total yards in the first half, 10 in the second. Take the reverse, give it to Richardson. Breaks a tackle. Well, oh my goodness. There you go. Big run. Hey, Jimmy McCurran, way down here. Yep. He can throw. Hayes puts it up. Has the way on it. Got it. Michael Williams. Oh my. Which way? Which way? Intercepted. What? Oh no! Eric Reed, I thought sure. You're kidding. Ben Williams had it. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Interception, first down. No way! Turnovers. If that ball's out there another foot or two, Reed has no chance. Now the longest punt return allowed by LSU this year is seven yards. He got this one. This one Look at this. over his head. Oh, see now Mays' ankle hurt him on this play. You've got to catch that ball. It cost his team 30 yards. This one. This first down. I gotta see that again. See my man wing. Fourth quarter turnovers. If that ball's out there another foot or two, Reed has no chance. Now the longest punt return allowed by LSU this year is seven yards. He got this one. This one Look at this. over his head. Oh, see now Mays' ankle hurt him on this play. You've got to catch that ball. It cost his team 30 yards. McCarran hand off Richardson. And you had to figure Alabama thought they'd get the ball about the 50, 40 yard line. Right. What a difference. LSU should play very safe here. Give a first down, no big play. They are two safeties deep. And Richardson gets it to the 30 yard line. Marquise Mays in motion back across to the right side. McCarran rolls out. Finds Marquise Mays and he scoots out of bounds. Now the receivers bunched up to the near side of the Andrew White. He is out the uh, top of the field, but they'll give it to uh, Trent Richardson. He runs into Kevin Minter. First down and ten. Oh, they got him this time. Brandon Taylor, number 18. Oh, you talk about being ready for this play. Richardson, they got him again. Ron Could Brooks see that one coming. Down. You remember Brooks was the star of the game when Matthew was suspended. There is Hanks comes in motion to near side. McCarran has it, puts in the corner. It's Brooks. They've got the little screen set. That's Trent Richardson. Pretty close. Yeah, he had a long just long back and forth, isn't it? Travel. Go Beckham! Go! And a player is down as well. That's Kirkpatrick, number 21. During the kick, holding 
number seven, on the return team, that penalty will be assessed half the distance to the goal from the end of the kick. First down, LSU keeps the ball. Yep. They'll throw it out and they find Chase Clamont. Five and six. Jefferson. Hit from behind by Hightower. Beckham and Randall near side. They'll test the middle again. That's Spencer Ware who's been held in check. Two minutes. Kirby Smart wants the defense to check out of their play. Where? There. No. Stopped it. Is that Mark Barron? Yeah, he's got defense safe out there, too. He's looking for the fake. Christian Jones, number 22. And forced the punt. Fair catch. At the 20. going to let it go to overtime. How about that? Overtime for a possible berth in the national championship. Barrett Jones is hurt. He's been a warrior. Big Jones. This game on one Who the fuck is that? It's like the smallest guy I've ever seen on a football field. He's the kicker, isn't he? Who had 6-6 six as a final in regulation in this one? But he played so well on the road. And he's been the starter ever since. And now... That's going to be a penalty. 12 men in the huddle. Boy. Banks was the last one off. And remember, the field goal, has, as you just showed... Substitution infraction. What? On the offense. He's been a warrior tonight playing in this game. What just happened? Play. I'm about to see the finish of this game, aren't I? Six all. Who had 6-6 six six as a final in regulation in this one? But he played so well on the road. And he's been the starter ever since. 16 seconds of overtime. How, how, much, how long is the overtime? Um, college football overtime length. Overtime. Oh, what am I doing in Wikipedia? Overtime period length may vary, but it's commonly 10 minutes long. Okay. And now it's going to be a penalty. 12 men in the huddle. Banks was the last one off. And remember, the field goal has, as you just showed, substitution infraction on the offense, breaking the huddle with 12 players, five yard penalty, it's full, second down. Jake gets sacked. Boy. I thought they would try to run the ball to try to get a field goal position. McCarron will hold it. Cade Foster will attempt it. He does have one for 46. This is at 40, uh, about 43, 42. I'll say 42 plus the 10 yards at the end zone. That's 52. Or maybe it's 17 yards. I think it's 10 yards. How many? How many is it? What's the end zone? End zone length uh, college versus NFL. End zone length college. End zone, not end zone. Okay, the end zone. End zone college length. The end zone in American football is 10 yards long. Okay. So we've got a 30, 42, 52 yard kick. Thanks tonight. And it's wide. Gusted. And now LSU gets the ball. Second down. Option. Oh, he just did get rid of it. Ford down the run, boy. He's totally stepped out. What? Out, out well, of course he did, because they won six. They won uh, nine six, but still. But yeah. No, I want to see that again. Down the sidelines. He didn't. Si he didn't step ball. out. Second down. Up. 
option. Oh, he just didn't get rid of it. Watch this. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. He totally stepped out. They out of him out. out. They out of him out. There was no touchdown call. They called him out on the seven yard line. Yes. Damn. Again, it's going to be Propel, Wing, and the kicker oh. Drew Alamo. Oh, the fucking... Oh, 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 he's about to kick it. Look at the crowd. The crowd are just going to go absolutely fucking silent. Watch this. <laughs> this is going to be great. Propel, uh. Wing, and the kicker Drew Alamo. All right. Cool, man. Well, that was another college football game. I think that's enough of that, though. Um, so, once again, if you did like this video, I know it's probably gone for at least half an hour, but if you're still here with me, I appreciate it. We're having fun. I'm learning. I'm getting this game. I'll be an expert in about two years. Put it that way. <laughs> So I've got a heap of work to go, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm loving the community. I'm loving the banter. I'm loving the trolls. I'm loving everything about this, man. By the time this video comes out, it's the 13th of July today, guys. I think this video is probably going to come out in like a few weeks. I'm at 65,000 subscribers right now. Who knows where we're going to be when this comes out, but I want to say one and all for you being here, for you subscribing, supporting me. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys. And I will get to a college football game one day soon. If you have liked the video, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you guys in the next one.